Alright, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I want to give all praise and honor and glory be to Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Rukhakudash. And I want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, Shalom. And um, also a hearty Shalom to um, you know the hopeful elect out there teaching this word in all sincerity and truth in the hopes that we may edify and feed the lambs of Yahweh Shai, especially in these last days. You know, and um, you know, speaking of Yahweh Shai, I wanted to speak a little bit about the return of Yahweh Shai and how he's coming back. Because we know clearly, according to the book of Matthew 24, uh, verse 30 on down, and various, various other scriptures, Isaiah 66, Isaiah 42 um, I believe it's Isaiah 40, 42 um, You know, uh, Revelation chapter 1, verse 7 um, You know, we know that Yahweh Shai is coming back You know, in in flaming fire to take vengeance, man That's what we know And, um, you know, there's a lot of people out there that That don't necessarily believe that, but that's fine, whatever man um, The Lord is only, you know, waking up the true believers, the elect um, You know, when I think about the non-believers I, I Immediately I always think about Romans chapter 3 verse 3 You know, which says For what if some shall not believe? You know, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? You know, your unbelief is not gonna Is not gonna sway the faith of the elect man Your unbelief you know, it's just, um, you know, it's just a part of the, 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 the formula that the Heavenly Father uses called balance. You know, you got some that believe and some that ain't going to believe. That's balance. You know, our belief in what we believe does not require you, you know, you scoffers to believe what we believe. It doesn't require your, our faith doesn't require your faith, <laughs> you know, because ultimately faith is a gift. You know, and that's in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. You know, you know, for for by faith, or for by grace are you saved through faith. You know, let's see if I can get that. It is a gift of the heavenly Father, man. You know, it, 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 faith is a gift. You know, and not that of yourselves. For by grace are you saved through faith, and not that of yourselves. It is a gift of the heavenly Father. I'm loosely paraphrasing. Okay, so at, at the end of the day, you know, we don't, our faith doesn't require, you know, you to believe anything. Okay, but still we have to, um, like the scripture says, we have to, um, we have to give you warning, you know. Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel chapter 3 and 17 goes into that. You know, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house, house of Israel. So we're basically watchmen, you know, we're supposed to be watching to see what's popping off man and, and we've got to report it and filter it through the scriptures and uh, and teach the scriptures you know the prophecies of the bible man that's what that's what we're concerned with man okay scriptures speak about that rather than that you may you may prophesy rather that you may prophesy man so we're supposed to be in a spirit of prophecy man the lord said behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which i will put in thy mouth saith the lord and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true Faithful man Key word Faithful and true Okay We believe that these words Are true man We believe it Alright uh, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 For the vision Which are the prophecies Is yet for an appointed time But at the end It shall speak and not lie Though it tarry Wait for it It will surely come It will not tarry We see the prophecies Popping off in these last days man In the form of You know The wars Rumours of wars The earthquakes In diverse places Look what happened in Turkey And Syria man 53 50,000 plus people dead in an instant Just like that You know We see these uproars of the people We see Esau sharpening the sword We see the, the robot dogs You know The K5 robots The the, the, digi, uh, the digi dog robots We see them We see them being fitted with artillery You know We see them being fitted with weapons We can see them patrolling, patrolling the streets We can see the troops out there In full Like riot gear Right uh, Or 
you know, uh, uh, um, the military, they did the martial law troops. We can see martial law, we can see curfews being put in place. These are the things that we can see, man. Uh, Second Edges 15 and 17 says, you know, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. We can see the 15 minute cities being set up. We can see, you know, uh, 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 what they just did with the uh, putting you under lockdown. We can see that under house arrest. We can see what's happening in China. You know, you had it over there in China. You had a whole tower block full of people, families and that. They were screaming from the tower block and that went viral. That was on the news. Okay. And they had they had drones with megaphones on them and they were screaming at the megaphones. The government was telling them, look, man, keep in your homes. Don't leave your homes. Resist your soul's urge for freedom. You know, and that we saw what was happening in Melbourne, in Australia. We saw what was happening there, man. And you had the troops that were pretty much um, deployed to keep or law and order in, in Australia. We saw what was happening over there, man. You know, helicopters flying all over the place. Okay, you had troops on every, like you might have had a tower block and on every floor, every landing, there was a troop station. So if you was trying to leave your house, there was a military guard or the troop outside your front door, man. All right, now you wait till it gets real bad out here. You wait till it's just no longer, you know, a, 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 like a practice run. Okay, you wait till it's, it's the full fledged and they've been given a green light to pretty much shoot to kill on sight anyone that resists. We can see that happening. Again, Ezekiel 21 and 9, son of man, prophesy and say, thus saith the Lord, say a sword, a sword is sharpened. Prophesy, man. We're supposed to be prophesying, man. The word prophesy means to say before. And that sword is being sharpened, Arkin, man. You know? So we're not in the time of making mirth. The scripture says it is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. Should we then make mirth? We're not in the time of mirth. You got some people that think this is just a never-ending, you know, Israelite party. You know, they get together, they jump around, they wear these stupid costumes, man. Looking like extras of Power Rangers, man. You know? Come on, bro. Like this is this is not this is not that, bro. This is not that. Alright, the scripture speak about. Hey, first of all, man, hey, how you wanna be you wanna be in a mindset like, you know, Yahweh Shai, he was a man equated with grief. You know? Yahweh Shai weren't having no, you know, Yahweh Shai in that, were in that party, party spirit, man. Okay, Yahweh Shai, he was in that spirit of, he was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, you know. After he fasted, man, he came, I think it was to Capernaum, and he was like, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He was about doing his father's will. He was about doing the will of, of his father, man. Okay. We're doing the will of Yahweh Shai, bro. We're supposed to be in that spirit. We're supposed to be following the Lamb with us wherever He goeth, man. So why are you interested in, 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 in peace and safety? Why are you interested in, you know, making your bed in Babylon? Why are you, why are you interested in, in, in party, party and, and mirth? The scripture says that the mirth, you know, all the merry heart do side, the mirth is ceasing out here, man. And you can see it. Okay, you can see it, man. It's like everyone's just waiting for the next big thing to pop off. And they're gonna, listen, man, like another, a 9 11 type event on steroids is gonna happen, man. All right? The elites, they're gonna push out another 9 11 type event on steroids. You best believe it, bro. And what are they gonna do off the back of that? Now, you saw what they did off the back of the pandemic, man. What can they do off the back of another major event, a, a, a worldwide, you know, event, man? And who are they gonna blame it on? Okay, they came for the apostles, man, at 9-11. Okay, and, and every time I think about, you know, these these false flags and that, I think about, like, that movie Mission Impossible, man, uh, Fallout, with uh, Tom Cruise, man. Okay, and they had, um, you know, they had, um, you know, uh, pocket nukes in that movie, man. And then they blamed it on, they blamed it on, um, you know, they blamed it on, the faction that was supposed to be responsible for that and they called them the, the apostles man in the movie i'll never forget that bro i'll never forget it man when i was watching that movie i said what the, are they taking the piss but you know don't be surprised because ultimately man they're gonna paint us to be the worst thing out here and that's why they're gonna you know you're gonna have like people coming up and saying yep yep you know he's involved this is what he's he's into a cult he's into this he's into that they're gonna put your picture up there on the news man and they're gonna make a smear campaign 
have your have your picture posted up on a, on the uh, on the news on their media platforms and that and we're going to be hated too you know but again let them fools feel like attacks that's what auto have KO man the scripture says second Corinthians 2 and 11 and let's start late Satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices we're not supposed to be ignorant to the devices of Satan man okay and they're gonna grab us up some of us hey we're gonna be beheaded for this truth the hour of temptation I know I'm kind of whizzing through these prophecies here but the major prophecies that we're waiting for right to take place is for the, the MOTB you know which they're gonna push off the back of the Hegelian dialectic the pressure from above the pressure from below man where they control both sides man okay and they put they squeeze the people in the middle okay and and through their fear the manipulation of their fear they're gonna have the people's backs pushed against the wall and then they're gonna they're gonna say look this is the solution for peace and the ultimate solution is gonna come in the form of that ship the mark of the beast man if you don't believe us man to hell with you man for by grace are you saved through faith and not that of yourselves, man. It is the gift of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. We need faith, bro. And faith is a gift. So I say again, we don't need. Our faith doesn't require your faith, man. Okay, the faith that we've been given, we are we are to earnestly contend for. Okay? Not everyone has the gift of faith because guess what? Then it wouldn't be balance. The Lord is dealing with balance, man. All right, and that's something hey, a forced balance is an abomination to the Lord, man. And that's a fact. Okay. So and our, and our faith, and ultimately, when the MOTB is pushed, man, our faith of Yahweh Shai's return, you know, it's gonna be we're gonna be waiting for that. We're gonna be waiting for Yahweh Shai to come and save us, man. All right. And Yahweh Shai is going to save us, Arkin, man. And you few sisters that listen as well, just wait upon Yahweh Shai. The Lord, didn't the Lord say in Zephaniah 3 and 8, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. The Lord said it. He said, wait upon me until I rise up to the prey. Yahweh Shai is going to rise up to the prey, man. We know that Yahweh Shai is coming, man. We know he's going to bust these clouds, bro. Don't you ever doubt Yahweh Shai is coming back. Don't you ever... Remember, the prophecy is written for his kingdom to be established on the earth. 1 Corinthians 15 and 23 on down. Okay? When he shall have uh, put down all rule, right? For he must reign till he have put all enemies under his feet. Yahweh Shai must reign, man. All right? Uh, I think about Daniel 2 and 44, man. Okay? And in the days of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed. Okay? And it shall stand forever, even forever and ever, man. This kingdom is the eight. Yahweh Shai's kingdom ain't never gonna be taken over, man. It's gonna be an everlasting kingdom. And that is what we're waiting for, man. That is our faith. That's our hope. That what that's what we're supposed to be running towards, man. You know? In our in our mentality and our mind is supposed to be focused on the kingdom, man. We're supposed to hey, keep that, your eyes single. All right, the, the Lord says, seek ye the kingdom of heaven first. Okay? Hey, hey the, the, the disciples, they asked, you know, they asked Yahweh Shai, when Peter said, look, Lord, we've forsaken all, what shall we have there for? The Lord said, look, all of you that have forsaken, like mothers and sisters, brothers, you know, all you, for my name's sake, you shall have received a hundredfold and shall inherit, you know, everlasting life. Loosely paraphrasing, man. So Yahweh Shai, he told them, he told, he told them what we're gonna receive, man. There's a reward waiting for us, man. And we think about these things, you know. And the Lord said, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the ends of the world, bro. Hey, Yahweh Shai is with us, bro. Yahweh Shai is with us. Those of us that believe, he's with us, Arkim, man. Hey, the scriptures call this a light affliction. Though, how tough it may be and how tough it's gonna get, and their play is gonna get tough. It's gonna get real tough, man. But yeah, how was I, man? I'm so mad, I could cry right now, man. It gives me great joy to be able to declare that I believe in my savior, man. Our savior, man. Yeah, how was I, bro? It gives me great joy to speak on that. You know? Arkin, we gotta stay faithful, man. 
He that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. He that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved, man. No matter what we're going through within this light affliction, we got to stay strong. The scripture says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times and strength and salvation, man. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. We fear Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We ain't to fear no man, man. Ultimately, whatever happens, we're supposed to take that Job approach. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I maintain my trust in him, man. That's what Job said, bro. Take the Yahweh Shai approach. Hey, Yahweh Shai, you think Yahweh Shai weren't stressed out, bro? Yahweh Shai was sweating blood in the Garden of Gethsemane, man. Yahweh Shai was sweating blood. He was praying to the Lord, bro. He was a man acquainted with grief. A man of sorrows, man. Think about his sufferings. Think about what he went through, man. All right, whatever the Lord requires us to go through, then, then so be it, man. Aman, just let it, let it be. Let it be, bro. It is what it is. Like, easier said than done, right? Because no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyful, right? But remember, it's a test of our faith, man. It's a test of, of the gift. The main gift that we've been given is the gift of faith mixed with the word. All right? And then we prophesy through that gift of faith, man. Faith in this word. Faith in... In, in, in this word Yahweh Shai and the belief that, that we have man the Lord said all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness okay the Lord said look man look at the generations of old and see you know who did he who did the Lord despise that called upon him so rock two and ten goes into that who did the Lord ever despise that called upon his name? Alright, or who was confounded or forsaken, man? The Lord didn't forsake the prophets of old, man. Look at the, hey, the scripture says, For whatsoever things are written aforetime are written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, man. This word is supposed to comfort us. It does comfort us, man. If you truly believe in this word, man, hey, this word is going to comfort you, man. Okay, in the midst of all the turmoil and the chaos and the confusion that you see that Esau is flooding out through the mainstream media at the moment, the hyperinflation, the, the economic collapse, the empty food shelves, the, the burning down of, 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 of food supply power plants and or, or food production plants, the burning down of livestock, 18,000 cows in Texas burned in an, you know, a burned alive. You know, all this that Esau's doing, the, the, the train derailments. Keep your eyes on the predictive programming. Keep your eyes on the signs. All right. The Lord said, "Watch ye therefore as well as pray." But after all of that, the, uh, the mark of the beast when they push out that chip. After all of that, man, Yahweh Shai has just gone on. He's just gonna roll up in here, man, leading the armies of heaven. After all of that. Revelation 1 and 7 Behold he cometh with clouds <laughs> Behold he cometh with clouds And every eye shall see him right And those that pierced him man Those that pierced Yahweh Shai So that's reincarnation right there They're going to be back here to receive their judgment And all the kindreds of the earth Shall well because of him Even so Aman right So listen Hey man Hey All the kindreds of the Hey when you go into that word Well All the kindreds of the earth shall well in the Greek it goes into kopto Which means to like To be grieved To beat your breast for grief Loosely um, You know Paraphrasing To beat one's breast For grief I believe it says For grief Were well, you going to be Hey these people are going to be In a state of grief He right now They're out there In that peace and safety spirit You know they're partying And bullshitting Jake Hey just like Jake was doing In the purge man When you saw that movie The purge You know And you had that one With Skeletor in it and you know, they, they were just partying, having a house party. Jake was just partying and bullshitting. And then all hell was break, all hell broke loose. Esau turned up the heat. And then Peter, Jake, look man, they they, wrote, they they sent them troops into them cities and Jake was just getting slaughtered, bro. Slaughtered. Okay. 
The scripture says in 2nd Ezra 16 and 70 on down, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. And they shall be like madmen sparing none, right? Still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen sparing none. They shall be like madmen sparing none. They're still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, man. So Jacob's trouble is coming, man. If the scriptures is telling us that Yahweh Shai, Romans 13 and 11, and now is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. If the scriptures is saying that our salvation is nearer than when we believed, what's going to happen before our salvation takes place? The MOTB, the Jacob's trouble, right? The mark of the beast has to get pushed. That means that that is even nearer than when we believed. Because that has to happen before Yahweh Shai returns. Okay, you're gonna have World War Three, the draft as well. Okay, you people, you people out here, you men, you get ready to get drafted, man. Get ready to get drafted in this war when World War Three takes place. Get ready to be sent over there. You know, to that great meat grinder over there in the Middle East, man. Get ready to be fucking drafted. Oh, you don't want to be drafted? Into prison, you go. And then prisons ain't gonna be nice, man. Especially for deserters. You know how they treat the deserters, man. Oh, you're a deserter. You ain't fighting for your country and all that. They're going to fucking whoop your ass in them jails, man. You're going to have them detention centers, man, and put them concentration camps. Now, right now, all this you're hearing on the news is the migrant crisis, the immigrants coming over, man. You know? Over there in America, they're setting up tents in Central Park as we speak. Okay? They're bringing in diseased immigrants into, in, into Babylon as we speak, man. Buses, buses full of them. Title 42, the end of Title 42. You got immigrants trying to cross the border, left, right, and center, man. Been queuing up for days to get into Babylon the Great. Okay, that's auto ab chaos. We don't know who's who. We don't know what's what. Listen, bro, they want all out chaos out here. You a man. <laughs> one four four four. <laughs> this Spartan distribution. Wow. <laughs> I think about the Spartans, I think about 300, you know, what's your profession, man? Our profession is this word, man. You know, like Leonidas, Spartans, what is your profession? We got to say this truth, this truth, this truth, you know what I'm saying? And we got to push this truth, man. Hey, the scripture says, woe be unto me if I preach not the gospel, man. Woe means destruction. So we got to teach this word, man. We ain't got a choice. <laughs> How about that? We ain't got a choice, bro. Lest we get caught up in this destruction. And we don't want to get caught up in this destruction, man. Scripture says, He that abideth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. What's the secret place of the Most High? And that's Psalms 91, by the way. The secret place of the Most High is this truth, man. The understanding of this truth. Proverbs 4 and 7 says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all that I get in, get understanding, bro. All right? So this truth is the secret place of the Most High. Amos 3 and 7 should come to mind. Surely the Most High will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, man. All right? So we got this truth, Akim, man. And we're supposed to make, hey, look, man. Make the most high our habitation The scripture says Proverbs 18 and 10 I believe The name of the Lord is a strong tower The righteous runneth into it and is safe Okay So we got hope man And we got hope Remember this we've got hope We ain't hopeless man Alright As for the wicked of our people man Hey the scripture says My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge They're going to be destroyed man for a lack of faith, a lack of their belief, and a lack of knowledge, you know, the lack of under hey, there's a scoffing and a scorning. The amount of times we were out there preaching, prophesying, putting up videos, man, letting you know what's gonna happen, the turmoil, the chaos. Uh, Jeremiah 30 and, and 5 on down, the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, right? Jacob's trouble, man. You're gonna be troubled, Jake. You're gonna be fucked over. You're gonna be fucked up. 
you gonna you're gonna be messed up, you're gonna be twisted up, you're gonna be your worst nightmares are gonna be presented to you, man, on a fucking platter. And what are you gonna do about it? Nothing. You're gonna be defenseless, you ain't gonna have no you ain't gonna have no no secret, no 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 shelter. We've made the most high our fortress through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which ultimately man, it's the Lord that's doing it, man. Yahweh Shai said, Isaiah 26 and 10, come my people. Is it Isaiah 26 and 20 or 26 and 10? Come my people, enter thou into thy chambers, man, and hide thyself as if it were for a little moment until the indignation, indignation be overpassed, man. The word indignation means righteous anger. All right? So we want to be hid from the indignation, okay, of the Lord. <sighs> okay? Meaning the anger of the Lord is coming. You know, excuse me. The anger of the Lord is coming, man. So we want to hide ourselves. We want to be hidden from that. Just like Noah, man. Hey, the things that are written before time and for our learning. Noah and his family, they were hid, you know, from the first death. Eight souls, man. The Lord, see, the Lord gets down. When the Lord opens up, man, he'll destroy everyone, man, and leave who he wants alive. Okay, that's the, that's the power that we serve. Okay, we're dealing with hey, this. One of the many titles of the Lord is the King of Terrors, man. Where he will destroy a whole bunch of people and leave whoever that he wants standing, left standing alive. And that's it. And we hope we're going to be the ones that are going to be left and protected. Okay, even if we got to die serving the Lord, the Lord's going to raise us up. The dead, the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first, as it is written, right? So ultimately, man, the Lord's going to test our faith. The Lord's going to have our backs against the wall and he's going to see what we're going to do. Wasn't Job's back backed against the wall, man? Didn't he lose family? Didn't he lose all his wealth? Wasn't, wasn't, wasn't he allowing Satan to mess up his flesh? Okay. And that's why ultimately, man, this truth has to be in the forefront of our minds. No matter what we have, it can be taken away. You know? As scary as it may be, Hey, it's a test of faith Like I said Easier said than done But Hey as many as I love I rebuke and chasten Be zealous therefore And repent We gotta be zealous For the love of the Of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Man we gotta be zealous For this truth We gotta put it At the forefront of our mind We have to understand That when the Lord says Gird up thy loins Like a man Hey the Lord is gonna require us He is requiring us To gird up our loins man no matter what we face And ultimately the Lord is putting us in these situ situations man What scriptures have come to mind um, There is no temptation taking these such as is common to man But the Most High is faithful who will not tempt you above that you are able But will with the temptation also make a way for you to be able to bear it Loosely paraphrasing I think it's somewhere in uh, Corinthians But the point is, and there's another scripture that says, man's goings are of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? So the Lord pretty much is going to present us with situations, man. All right. However, however gruesome they may be, because it's going to get tough. Acts 14 and 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we through much tribulation enter into the kingdom. The Lord's going to put us through through some things man okay but the Lord require requires us you know to have faith man as the scripture says in Hebrews 11 and 6 for without faith it is impossible to please him so we have to have that faith think about you know what's it their their their, their Babylonian names are Shadrach Meshach and Abednego man think about what they had to go through man and thinking about the great levels of faith that they displayed at the sound of the coronet you know they didn't bow down to the image of Nebuchadnezzar they didn't bow down to that statue man all right and that image is going to come in the form of the chip in this t in this day are you going to bow down and take the chip you going to bow down hey we got we got to think about the things that are written before time that were written for our learning we got to think about you know the display the great display of the faith of our forefathers that stood strong even though their backs were put against the wall they were listen bro they 
They were getting, they were cast into a fiery furnace, man. Okay, for their belief in Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. And guess what? <laughs> they were protected. Yahweh Shai protected them, man. Those guys that brought them to the furnace, they were the ones that burnt up. But they can't. the scripture says that not even a hair on their head was singed. singed. And that's the power of the Lord. That's the power we serve, man. The Lord can have you put in a situation that might seem hopeless to the carnal eye. But into the spiritual eye, you just good. You in that furnace of affliction, you just like, you just dare, man. You just eating that. And it ain't nothing happening to you, man. And the Lord just turning up something miraculous. Flip the minds of these heathens. Flip the minds of the carnal mindset. Thinking, what? How the fuck is this happening? See, man, the Lord is gonna put down all these carnal mindsets and what what, what people think is real. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, this is yeah, that's what it is because it's this and that, you know. Esau setting the stage to demonize us, and it, he thinks he's got us, man. But guess what? The Lord's got him. <laughs> when he is about to fill his belly, the Mosai shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating, right? So the Lord's got him. The Lord has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Esau, man, <laughs> you are not boundless, man. Although, like it says in Psalms 49, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Although that's your mindset, right? <laughs> Although you, you know, you, you're walking with that pomp and pride, and you set out to be like the Most High. Hey, the Lord, you, you are not boundless, man. Okay, <laughs> and starting with you elites, you going hey, to bind their kings, you know, with, you know, to, to bind their kings and their nobles with chains, and their nobles with fetters of iron, man. Okay, Psalms one one forty nine. You know, you gonna be bound, man. You elites, you gonna be bound up. You gonna be the first crop of slaves. Oh yeah, and slavery's coming back. Revelation 2.26 Right? Revelation 2.25 on down But he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end To him will I give power over the nations And he shall rule them with a rod of iron As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers <laughs> Hey we're going to have fun in the kingdom man oh, Kim, Think about the kingdom man Think about a time of righteousness on the earth Think about us being able to be at peace Okay, he's coming man But before that peace comes uh, The balance, the great destruction And death has to come man Hey, the, like the scripture says I, I mentioned Isaiah 66 and 15 The slain of the Lord shall be many man For behold the Lord will come with fire, right? He's coming with that heat the Scripture says I have come to set fire upon the earth, right? Luke 12 and 49 is it? And what will I if it be already kindled man? Yahweh Shai is coming to bring that heat Okay, and he's bringing the armies of heaven Revelation 19 on down Revelation 19 and 11 on down, right? He's coming with them armies of heaven Following him upon white horses This is our faith, that's what we believe That's what's going to happen out here, bro Alright, and we ain't confused on that We know, man, that's our faith, that's our belief the Scripture says, lift up your heads For your redemption draweth nigh, man But they got that movie out there, don't look up <laughs> Come on, man, get the fuck out of here, man our redemption's coming, man. All right? More and more signs in the heavens, the chariot sightings, and that's a curse unto Esau. Zechariah 5. It's a curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. And it's about to enter into the house of the thief. Esau, whatever the so called white man, all right, starting with the elites of Esau, Edom, everything that they have, they stole, man. So they're the main thieves on the earth. All right? So, anyway, man, with that, man. I pretty much I'm gonna close out, man. I pray this is edifying. You know, Salaki, if it was a little bit all over the place. But um, you know, spirit, man. You just, hey, woe be unto us if we preach not the gospel, Arkin, okay, man. We at the hey, we almost there, man. We almost there. Um, so with that, I want to give all praises. You know, order and glory, Kahalaliam La, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Rukhakwadash. You know. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and shalom to the hopeful elect.